good morning everyone now the next topic that is how to convert any hexadecimal number into octal so for converting uh, this number system into octal first of all uh, you have to convert the hexadecimal number into binary which you have uh, uh, understand in the previous video lecture and then after that uh, you have to make the set of 3 Uh, you have to make the group of binary numbers into the set of three. Okay, so according to the table, according to the table that is octal to binary, you have to convert all the binary sets into octal. So finally, you will get uh, you will get uh, the octal number. So I am telling you with the help of uh, like uh, this video lecture that uh, what are the number of steps to convert an hexadecimal number into octal. so to convert any hexadecimal number into octal number system following steps are to be followed basically three steps are there so first of all you have to convert the hexadecimal number into binary first as i have told you um, in the video lecture that is in hexadecimal to binary conversion okay so this will be your first step then the next step is you have to make the group of binary numbers means the binary number which you will get uh, you have to make the group of binary numbers into the set of 3 3 numbers okay into the uh, set of 3 3 binary numbers you have to make the group and the point to be noted is here like uh, you have to start from the lsb digit means from the rightmost digit you have to start making group of the binary numbers then and if in the msb part there is uh, like uh, three uh, three uh, numbers three binary numbers are uh, not there then what you can do you can add uh, some zero into the msb digit to make the set of three okay so you can do that then accordingly what you have to do if you made uh, or if you have set the group of uh, three numbers then you have to convert all the binary sets into uh, octal as given in the previous table because uh, there are two tables which i have told you uh, in in the first table like i have told you that how to convert all the octal numbers uh, like uh, the range which is available in case of octal like 0 to 7 how to convert 0 to 7 into binary so i have told you the table of that then in the another table i have told you that how to um, convert any hexadecimal number into binary so there is one another table uh, for uh, the hexadecimal to binary conversion so you can refer that uh, like uh, octal to binary conversion table here because in the final part you have to convert all the sets all the binary sets into octal according to the table which is given in the octal to binary conversion so accordingly uh, what you can do you can find the perfect answer or you can find the correct answer like this is one hexadecimal number this is basically the same question which i have uh, taken in the previous uh, video lecture that is hexadecimal to uh, binary conversion this is the same numbers this is the same solved example now what you have to do like first of all you will convert it into binary okay so you have converted it like a is equal to 1010 2 is equivalent to 0010 d is equivalent to 1101 and e is equivalent to 3110 now what you have to do you have to write it like this this is your complete answer means this is basically the binary conversion of uh, this hexadecimal number but the uh, like uh, second step says that you have to make the group Uh, of these binary numbers into the set of three, and from the LSB digit side you have to start. So this is your LSB side. So you will start from here. So uh, you are making the set of three like one one zero. Okay. So one one zero you will write here one one zero. Then after that the next set is like zero one one. So you will write it here. And the next set is zero one one. So we will write it like this. then the next one is 010 like uh, 001 sorry 001 then the next one is 010 
okay then one is left here from the msb side only one is uh, left so what you can do you can add two zero into this one okay so if one is left then what you will do from the msb digit side you will add two more zero so you have added now the set of three binary numbers has been made now one by one you will write the octal equivalent of these numbers like zero zero one if you check the table like this this is your table basically which i have told you in the previous session so if you check like zero zero one so this is equivalent to one so we will write here you will write here one accordingly or according to that table zero one zero is equivalent to two zero zero one is equivalent to again one then zero one one is equivalent to three and zero one one again three then one one zero is equivalent to six okay so uh, that means the uh, octal equivalent of this hexadecimal number is one two one three three six okay hope you have understood and it is very easy nothing you have to do only uh, all the shortcuts are available here you have to check the only the table and you have to remember like from which side you have to start making group so i have always told you that um, from the least significant bit means from the right hand side you have to start making the group okay then obviously it will be very easy for your people so this is your table uh, so you just make it uh, or you just note it in your uh, class notebook two tables you just draw in your notebooks so that uh, the conversion will um, will be easy for you people now if you check the practice questions then these are the practice questions the same hexadecimal number i have taken here but the only thing is that now you have to convert all these hexadecimal numbers into octal because because in the previous uh, session you have con uh, converted all these hexadecimal numbers into binary but now from these binary numbers you have to convert it into octal also so you just apply this uh, uh, like uh, uh, this exam uh, like the solved example which i have told you in this session okay uh, i am just telling you the answers also like these are the octal equivalents of these numbers on these hexadecimal numbers so first of all you, you will try it by your own then only you will check these answers and uh, if these are this, these are correct that means you have understood that how to convert any hexadecimal number into octal so till then you just learn from it so thank you everyone thank you so much